In the last lecture, we completed introduction of gray code. In this lecture, we are going to learn binary to gray code conversion, a very important topic. And there must be one problem in your exam from this topic. There are three steps involved in the conversion. I will explain all the three steps one by one. In step number one, we have to record the MSB as it is. I will take one example to explain these three steps. In this first example, we have to convert convert 1011 to gray code to gray code. And uh, from step number one, we can see we have to record the MSB as it is. So let's do it. The number in binary is 1011. This is our solution. And uh, we have to record the MSB as it is this one here is the most significant bit and this one here is the least significant bit and now we have to record the MSB as it is MSB is 1 so we have 1 here in step number 2 we have to add the MSB to the next bit and record the sum we have to record the sum and neglect the carry this is the most important step out of this three in this step we have to add the MSB to the next bit it means we have to add 1 and 0 and then we have to record the sum and neglect the carry so let's do it we will add the MSB that is 1 we will add it with 0 0 plus 1 will give us 1 so 1 is the next bit for gray code and then we have to repeat the process we have to repeat this process every time we will record the sum and neglect the carry right so I will take this 0 add it with 1 1 plus 0 is 1 now I will take this 1 1 plus 1 will give us 0 sum is 0 with carry equal to 1 and we have to neglect the carry so we are left with 1 1 1 0 this is our answer this is the gray code in step number two instead of taking the sum and neglecting the carry we can simply perform the x or operation and most of you already know what we do in x or operation if we have two inputs and y is the output then y is equal to a and b complement or a complement and b as there are two inputs, we have four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. These are the four combinations. And uh, XOR is odd ones detector. So every time you don't have to put values of A and B in this expression to obtain the output, you can simply check the number of ones. If we have odd number of ones, then output is going to be high. In first case, we don't have any one, so output is going to be low. In second case, we have single one, so output is going to be high because we have odd number of ones. In the same way, output is high for third case. And in the last case, we have two ones. It means we have even number of ones, so output is going to be low. So this is how truth table for XOR operation looks. And in next example, I will use XOR operation instead of finding the sum and neglecting the carry. So let's move to the next example. But before that, I would like to generalize this thing. I will generalize this. From this example, we can see MSB is recorded as it is. And whenever you perform binary to gray code conversion or gray code to binary conversion, MSB remains same. MSB doesn't change when we convert gray code to binary or binary to gray code. So we can write G3 equals to B3. This is B3, B2, B1, B0. And this one here is G3, G2, G1, and G0. G3 is equal to B3. Now we'll find G2. G2 is equal to B2 XOR B3. You can clearly see this is B3 and this is B2 and when we perform XOR operation we are going to get G2. Right. And G1 is equal to B1 XOR B2 
b1 xr b2 and g0 is equal to b0 xr b1 b0 xr b1 so this is how we can generalize the conversion of binary number to gray code now we will move to next example example number two in this example the binary number is one 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 zero this is the binary number and we will follow the three steps in step number one we have to record the msb as it is msb is one so i will record the msb as it is in second step we can do two things first thing is to perform the addition record the sum and neglect the carry and second thing is to perform the xor operation so we are going to perform the xor operation in this example 1 xor 1 1 xor 1 is equal to 0 so we have 1 xor 1 and this will give us 0 because xor is odd ones detector i will repeat the process again we have 1 xor 1 so we are going to get 0 0 xor 1 from this truth table you can see 0 xor 1 is equal to 1 so we have 1 here so the number is 1001 this is the gray code for 1110 now we will move to homework problem I have three homework problems for you in first homework problem the binary number is 1001 in second homework problem the binary number is 1010 and in last homework problem the binary number is 1111 and you have to convert them to gray code convert to gray code once you have your answers post them in comment section I will also upload the solution on our website Nesso Academy dot org so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one